Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Inside the Panthers Home Edition presented by Baptist Health. I'm Katie Gauds, and today I'm joined by Florida Panthers defenseman and sometimes forward, our favorite hybrid, Mark Pesek. Mark, thanks so much for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. So uh, where are you? It looks like the weather's nice, so I'm guessing that you're in Florida? Yeah, we're still in Florida here. I'm just uh, sitting in my backyard now because my uh, little daughter's sleeping, so I didn't want to wake her up and because uh, naps are very precious time, so <laughs> sit outside. I know, and uh, actually, I'm pretty sure I saw from your Instagram that Milo had her first birthday recently, about a month ago. Tell me a little bit about that. That must have been exciting to be a part of because you weren't on the road. Yeah, it was... Uh, it was looking like I was going to be on the road for that one. So um, when we found out that we were going to be, still be quarantined for her birthday, it was exciting for me to be here and uh, celebrate. Uh, I mean, obviously, the first birthday is pretty exciting. Um, small party, just the three of us, but um, it was fun to be here for sure. Did you get the whole, like, smash cake going? I know it's like a tradition in my family. Like, every first birthday, you just get to go crazy with the hands and the cake. How'd she like it? Yeah, she was uh, a little bit... Uh, a little bit scared at first, I think, but once she got in, she just dove right in. We did a uh, Instagram Live, so our family and uh, people around back home and stuff didn't miss out on that. Oh, that's awesome. And you have a dog, too, right? Yep. Was he uh, get, getting any of the scraps? Oh, yeah. She uh, she always hangs out right where Milo's eating and um, is well-fed uh, based, on, based on the spray area that Milo creates when she eats. <laughs> I saw actually yesterday you posted that you and Milo went biking. Has that been something you've been using as a way to keep in shape during this pause? Oh, yeah. My uh, my wife's been running around in the morning. Um, she's kind of got into running during this quarantine. So I just hop on the bike and kind of follow her around. And we stopped at uh, stopped at the Andals, stayed, uh, stayed on his driveway. But uh, he was <laughs> the one that snapped that picture. And she just she loves getting out and, you know, moving around pretty fast on the bike. You had a pretty good setup going with the the whole front seat and all the helmets and everything. It was very impressive. Oh, yeah. Full dad mode. I got my backpack on, helmet. Everyone makes fun of me for the helmet, but that's right. <laughs> I mean, you wear a helmet, you know, for a living. So, I mean, what's 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 a little bit more out on the bike? I like it. So, so you live near the Andals, then you're able to kind of pop by and do a drive-bys and waves at them? Yeah, there's, uh, there's a few guys, uh, Jans, Eki, Maddie, uh, Sevier, they're down here. Um, so we kind of bike around, and if we're outside, I'll text them or FaceTime them just to buzz by them with Milo, and they can, they can wave to her. She can see some people that isn't just mom and dad, which is nice change for her. So it's been, uh, it's been fun buzzing around seeing them. Yeah, absolutely. Have you been doing anything else in terms of staying in shape? I know this has been kind of crazy. Strawman's been rollerblading. Everybody's having to get pretty creative. What's been your uh, your routine like? Uh, we got a uh, uh, what the Peloton bike, so I got that pretty early on, and that's been fun to uh, fun to ride on. And then I got some the uh, the first day we got quarantined. My wife texted me and asked me if we should get weights, and I and I kind of laughed at her. And looking back now, it was a pretty <laughs> smart decision on her part because we got them now, and yeah. uh, I got some got some stuff from my trainer back home, and also Donahue here. So I've been kind of mixing and matching everything there, and just riding the bike. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know Luongo has a Peloton and a few other guys. So have you been? Uh, have you guys been seeing each other on the programs at all? Giving any high fives? Uh, I haven't been on with them yet, but I will. Uh, I'll text them and get their usernames for sure. Yeah, I know that. I know that they're all on there. It's a good way to good way to keep in shape for sure. Um, how how else have you been keeping in touch with uh, the guys? I know you guys have a group chat going. A few guys have been playing video games together. But what's it been like keeping in touch with the team during all this? Yeah, I think the group chat's been kind of. You know, when it goes, there's different stuff that guys are hearing about the season starting and everything like that, and. Uh, for the most part, anything I put on the group chat just goes with no reply. So um, that's uh, stay away from the group chat for me. I'll just FaceTime the guys when I want to talk to them. Um, but yeah, everybody's been, uh, you know, staying in touch a little bit here and there, seeing what everyone's doing. But everyone, you know, is pretty well doing the same thing, watching Netflix, trying to stay in shape as best you can while while still being locked down. And uh, the guys with kids, like Yans, they've got they've got classes still for the kids. So they're, they're basically being teachers right now, which is, uh, we're tired sometimes with, with the one little girl here, but, um, 
they have two kids that are in school. So, I mean, it's, it's, it sounds pretty hectic over there. Yeah, you have to be pretty pretty happy that Milo hasn't reached the schooling age so that you don't have to be a, a teacher on top of everything else. Exactly. And you mentioned it with Netflix, but what have uh, what have you guys been watching? I'm sure you and Oakley are winding down with some shows once Milo's asleep. What's been uh, what's been on TV for you guys? Uh, well, we obviously watched uh, Tiger King, like everybody. Mm -hmm. um, and I just finished Ozark, the third season. Oakley wasn't into that one, um, but I might rewatch that with her. And then I just started QB One, which has been it's been pretty cool. I watched them the last like two three days been staying up late i just can't go to bed it's exciting get so into a show and just want to finish it but yeah i'm just starting season three now so take me probably another day or so yeah you're just pumping right through we just started ozark in my family and that oh, one is yeah. wild so it's I'm awesome three episodes in and i'm hooked so <laughs> oh, yeah. i'm glad to hear that's a good one what else have you guys had going on? I mean, I know you've got Milo to keep you busy. Have you uh, have you picked up any new hobbies? I know lots of people have joked that, you know, they started, uh, you know, people have been painting, coming up with all different things. But what, you know, have you figured out anything new to keep you guys busy? Uh, we did a little bit of Lego. Or we, uh, me and Eki were on FaceTime one time. We decided <laughs> to send each other different uh, different things to make. Uh, that was a good one. I did a puzzle early on that was like one of the more frustrating things because you could sit there for like half an hour and not get one single piece <laughs> or you could sit there for five minutes and a bunch of them you'd find so that one going to bed seeing that on our table not finished was kind of was kind of <laughs> bugging me so once i did that that was it for puzzles yeah just leave that one alone there yeah that's done. Well, Lana, from like a from a cooking perspective we've joked with you know some people have taken this opportunity to really you know challenge themselves and cook some crazy meals other people have been sort of struggling along what what's it been like with you guys uh we've been pretty good trying new things uh the one thing that, that we realized i am an absolute liability with the cast iron skillet it smokes <laughs> and i just burn everything so uh, i think tonight we're making pork chops again we tried it a couple of weeks ago and they were horrible so <laughs> i told my wife order them again from the grocery store i need to redeem myself so we'll see how that goes tonight but honestly it, it's not not looking good i don't feel very confident but other than that we've been you know making steaks on the barbecue which is good uh pretty simple uh, and, and she's basically been making pretty much everything yeah well that's 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 the goal is to just at least try to help out you could always do the dishes yeah that's what i try to do the stuff that i know i can do and not mess up uh, and I know uh, in the room, you know, you sit next to Yandel, and we've talked a little bit about it with uh, with some other guys, but he was named the funniest player in the NHL. And I feel like with your sense of humor, nobody would maybe appreciate some of the funny things that he does better than you. You know, you get that firsthand experience with him in the room all the time. So when you kind of heard that that was not really a surprise, what were your thoughts on him getting that official title? You know, Jens, um, from everybody who plays hockey and inside the room and stuff, that's that's very common knowledge that he's the funniest guy. So uh, when it gets out publicly like that, to, you know, the fans, like, I don't think he has any social media or anything like that. So the fact that they see that he's the funniest guy is good, uh, good for him. And like you said, I sit right by him in the room and it's constantly just, you know, every situation we're in, whether we're down and it's pretty serious time he keeps it light and makes jokes and uh, he's always keeping me laughing which is uh you know it makes going to the rink every single day fun whether it's practice game anything like that he he always he always brings the humor which i uh i definitely enjoy sitting by absolutely and i mean he definitely has the jokes but would you say that he also has some pretty good chirps because i can think of plenty of times that we've been in the room and he just finds little ways to kind of like you know, just pick pick fun at certain guys, maybe throwing it at Weegs or some of the guys that are within earshot. But I know you guys have had some fun during interviews. And, and just can you think of any kind of, you know, funny moments that you've experienced throughout this season with him? Um, oh, definitely the stuff with Weegs when he gets uh, his buddy to text Weegs. And uh, we yeah. pretty anxious and, and nervous when stuff like that happens. So he's the perfect, the perfect guy to target for Keith. Uh, but it's all in good fun, and Keith obviously, yeah. uh, you know, likes to get everybody laughing and going. But I think the stuff with Weeks, I think all the boys absolutely love that. And, uh, when they they talk about it on that Spitting Chicklets podcast, I get texts from a bunch of my buddies like, "Oh, did you hear it from 
and here this boy has, hear this, and uh, it's it's pretty funny. <laughs> I mean, anything that that he does is pretty good. You get a front row seat. You definitely have a good advantage. But I mean, I don't think people realize you're pretty funny yourself. You're more of that like sly kind of like low key <laughs> funny. But you know, tying the shoes, getting the the flipper in there, the flip flop in there for the for the interviews and stuff like that. I feel like maybe maybe you've learned a little bit from him. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. There's stuff, you know, that he says around the rink that I definitely, <laughs> definitely think is very funny. And I try to, I try to, try to make people laugh around me, but it's not, uh, it's definitely not Keith Yandel level. Well, I know last week when I talked to Nolachari, he said that, you know, of all the different things that he misses from not having hockey, one of them was the most was getting to dance for the boys in the room after a yeah. big win and play the win song. But when you think about it for yourself, what what have you kind of felt like you miss the most right now with you know being away from hockey? Uh, I think you kind of hit the nail on the head. We were we were talking about that the other day. Uh, my wife and I just it's just the same day over and over right now, um, and it could kind of feel like that during the hockey season. But uh, just just being in the room with the guys, like you said, when when Keith's giving guys hard time or everyone's just joking around, poking fun at each other, you know, making fun of what guys wear to the rink. It's just, it's just different, you know, being at home literally 24 seven and not, and not leaving at all. Uh, I think, yeah, just getting, being around the guys in the room. Awesome. Well, Mark, thank you so much for chatting with us today. I really appreciate it. We miss all of you guys. I know the fans love getting to see all your faces and uh, we're so happy that you got to spend some time with baby Milo and we want you to just all stay safe. So thank you again. Uh, we miss you. We hope to see you soon and uh, we appreciate you taking the time to chat with me. Awesome. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, absolutely. All right, everyone. That's been another Inside the Panthers Home Edition presented by Baptist Health. I'm Katie Gauze and we'll see you all soon.